let's get into some co-wash business hey youtube fam welcome back to my channel or if you're new my name is Alyssa marie welcome i hope everybody's managing to stay home and stay safe and do what we all gotta do in order to get back to normal life so for today i realized that i have filmed a video all about why i don't use shampoo but i actually haven't ever elaborated on co-wash itself so today we're going to get into all the details i'm going to share with you some of my favorite co-washes because i like them all for like different reasons and then also get into how i cater my natural hair regimen to the fact that i co-wash regularly we're going to get into all the details about is co-wash actually good some issues that you can come across like we're going to go over everything but before we get started please go ahead and hit that subscribe button it's only right it only takes two seconds of your life and you won't regret it i promise right, let's get started all right, so if you have no idea what co-washing means, basically it means to wash your hair with a conditioner. So you're using cleansing conditioners to wash your hair, cleanse your hair, instead of using a shampoo. Now the reason why a lot of curly girls like to do this is because traditional shampoo can be very, very harsh. So basically most traditional shampoos have a chemical in there called sodium lauryl sulfate, and that is literally like the same kind of thing that they use in detergents. And that's really what makes it lather and get so cleansing, but it is so harsh that it can be very stripping to your hair. And it's just not good to be using that consistently over and over and over again. Especially if you're like me and you like to wash your hair more than once a week. If you use shampoo that often, you could end up with very super dry and frizzy and just dehydrated curls. So although shampoo is very deeply cleansing, it can also be very harsh. So this is why I personally prefer co-wash. You kind of get the best of both worlds. You get that cleanse, but it's also like conditioning and moisturizing your hair at the same time. With certain co-washes, you might even find that you don't even need to follow on with a conditioner afterwards. It's kind of like cleansing and conditioning in one step. So y'all already know I am a huge fan of co-washing, but I do have to mention that I don't think co-washing is necessarily for everyone. So I have been blessed to not have any scalp issues, any hair issues, sensitivity issues, nothing like that. But if you are someone with scalp sensitivity issues, I would definitely suggest that you stick with shampoos. And in that case, you might want to use shampoos. Like nowadays they have the shampoos that are sulfate free, silicone free, um, mineral oil free. Like they have the decent shampoos out there now. So if you find that you do actually need shampoo, I would suggest you go that route and then also just limit the amount of times that you use it. And if you're like me and you prefer to wash your hair more than once a week, maybe like twice a week, you can pick one day to do like your shampoo wash and then the other day to just do a light like co-wash. But for me personally, my curls just respond so well to using co-washes regularly that that's just what I do. I like it because there's no lathering element. So I never feel like my hair is being stripped but then at the same time, I still get that cleansing feeling that I need. I also love the flexibility of being able to wash my hair as often as I want when I'm using co-wash. Um, I know back in the day, everyone used to be like, oh, you can't wash your hair every single day, blah, blah, blah. Girl, if you wanna wash your hair every day, that is fine, as long as you're not using shampoo every day. I feel like that was kind of the thing, like using shampoo so often could really just absolutely mess up your hair but if you want to wash your hair every day with co-wash it is pretty much fine as long as you like don't overdo it they say that your hair should fully dry again before you wash it again and you also don't want to like over moisturize and condition your hair so really at the end of the day as i always like to say it's all a matter of you listening to your curls and figuring out what they want because your scalp and your curls will talk to you so because i co-wash regularly like that's like the way that i cleanse my hair there are two main things that i do in order to make sure that i don't don't get any buildup. Buildup is bad. You don't want to deal with buildup because that can cause all kinds of issues. Lack of hair growth, dryness, frizziness, hair fallout. You just don't want to put your hair in a situation where there's just a ton of buildup on your scalp or like a ton of buildup of product on your hair itself. It's just a big no no. So first I make sure that I always do a super deep scalp cleanse every month. So I filmed a whole video on this. If you guys want to check that out, I will link it up here. But basically, I just make sure that I do a super deep cleanse. I use specific products to make sure that my scalp and my curls are nice and clarified. So that way it kind of all balances out. I'm co-washing regularly and then once a month it's like boom, I get that clarifying cleanse that I need and then we're refreshed. To go again so the second thing that i make sure to do or i guess like don't do is to not use products with silicones in it so silicones are not water soluble they're like liquidy plastic basically 
and when you use a lot of silicones in your hair over and over and over again, that is buildup. Silicones equal buildup, especially if you're using co-washes because co-washes are such a much more lightweight cleanse. So you will have a much harder time trying to wash out silicones out of your hair properly with co-wash. So I'm always, always, always checking the back of my products to make sure they don't have silicones. So those are the two main things that I do to make sure that co-washing works properly for me. And I've been doing this kind of routine for a while and I think the balance of the co-wash and then the monthly deep cleanse just works really, really well for my curls. They respond so nicely and it just really, really works well for me. If you are using co-wash regularly just like me, I highly, highly recommend that you take those two steps seriously as well. All right, so now we kind of got all of that technical stuff out of the way. Let's jump in and talk about my actual favorite co-washes. So I have four that I would say are my top co-washes ever. I've tried a lot, some have been disappointing, and then these four kind of just stood out to me and they're kind of my go-to. Literally these four all stay in my shower and I kind of rotate them and use them at different times depending on what my curls and my scalp are asking me for. I don't know scientifically if one co-wash can cleanse better than the other but I know for me like when I'm using them some of them just feel a little bit more cleansing than others. Alright so in no particular order let's first talk about the Care Care Moisturizing Co-wash. So I like this co-wash because it's exactly what it is. It is a moisturizing moisturizing co-wash it is so so moisturizing and it makes my hair feel very very soft it also has a good amount of slip so it makes it a little bit easy to finger detangle in the shower as well I also like the fact that on the bottle it actually says four natural hair types three to four so for me being a type 3 slash 4 girl I'm like wow this is specifically formulated for me and then the way that it works in my curls is just really really nice it's just super moisturizing for me. So if I ever find that I need to cleanse, but my hair is feeling a little bit dry, a little brittle, this is what I would reach for. All right, next let's talk about the Curlsmith Curl Quenching Conditioning Wash. So this is actually a recent addition to my list, but oh my gosh, so bomb. So I have to say it's a little bit similar to this one, but this just smells so good. If I had to choose if y'all are forcing me to choose like if you are watching this video and say Liz I can only afford one which one would you suggest I would have to say this one just because it I don't know the consistency of it kind of just melts in your hair as you're using it it's just so good I find that with Curlsmith products in general just melts into my curls and just feels so delicious this also smells like heaven it is amazing and I also really like the fact that this brand is really they really pride themselves on using much more natural and like healthy ingredients. So this has no sulfates, parabens, silicones, mineral oils, DEA, like none of that toxic stuff. So I love that. Actually, none of these actually have any of that kind of stuff because I'm about that life. Um, but yeah, this is so bomb. So I would say out of all four of these, I use this the most frequently because it's as equally moisturizing as it is cleansing. At first when I used this, I was like so nervous because it was so moisturizing that I was worried like, oh my gosh, is this actually even going to cleanse my curls? But when I wash it out, it just feels super, super cleansing to me. So I pick this up and use this most frequently for sure. It's got like a perfect balance between very moisturizing and very cleansing. All right, next, let's talk about the As I Am Coconut Co-Wash. I feel like this is a Naturalista cult favorite. Like, everybody talks about this. Everybody has this. First of all, I just love that it is in this big old jar. I love being able to scoop out as much as I need instead of having to squeeze it out. Now, this is one of my more cleansing co-washes. I don't know, like, something about it once it washes out it is so super cleansing my scalp also seems to really really love this this also has a really really great amount of slip as well so it's very easy to finger detangle and i think this is also very very good especially for type 4 hair so if you have coarser tighter coils this is bomb all right and then last but certainly not least let's talk about this camille rose cleansing milk. So Camille Rose just recently launched these milks. So this is also another recent addition to my collection. They have different flavors, if you will. So it has flaxseed milk and rose powder, and it's meant to give your curls definition. So I recently used this when I first used it. I'm not going to lie. Like I was like, as I was applying it in my curls, I was kind of like, Oh, I'm not so sure about this. Like, Oh, it feels kind of weird, but it is so, so good. Once this washed out, it was very cleansing, but then it also left my hair 
so so soft like crazy soft i think these two tie for being like the most cleansing conditioners that i have this is also very very different from the other co-washes that i've mentioned it is super super natural like has the most natural ingredients i think out of all of these so it also has a very high content of rose flower extract that is the second ingredient listed on the back here so you know it's kind of filled with that and rose flower is meant to be really really good like anti-inflammatory it's calming it's really good for the scalp for anti-itching it's just really calming and soothing overall for your hair so if you do have scalp issues this actually might be something really really nice just because of the rose in it but otherwise this is super super cleansing this definitely does not have as much slip as the other three that I mentioned, but I can definitely still get through with detangling with my fingers for sure. So yeah, those are basically my favorite top four co-washes at the moment. There's still so many out there that I haven't gone to try yet, but I'm gonna keep trying and I will continue to do like updated videos. I really hope you guys found this useful. If you have any other additional questions all about co-washing, I love to talk about this kind of stuff. So go ahead and comment below, let me know your thoughts. If you did enjoy this video, go ahead and give your girl a thumbs up. And also don't forget to subscribe if you didn't in the beginning. I hope I've convinced you to just go ahead and hit that button now. And I know y'all have already binged all of Netflix and all of Hulu. So just for you, some more videos here for you to just keep binging on my channel. I'll catch y'all in the next one.